Hello and welcome to another video where today I'll be taking you through the calculations needed for markup and margin. So markup and margin both relate to the same three elements. The selling price of the product, the cost of those goods and the profit. But if they're using the same information, what's the difference? Well, the main difference is perspective. See, different businesses will use different models. Some will work on a markup basis, also referred to as cost plus, and some will use margin. When calculating the markup of a product, what you're doing is calculating how much that product costs and then adding a percentage on top that you'd like to make as profit. And for this, I have a visual aid. Enter my camera lens. Not the ones I use for filming because it's incredibly zoomed in, it wouldn't look great. So let's say that this lens costs 200 pounds to manufacture and Canon decides that they want to add a markup of 60%. They would therefore do 60% of the cost of £200, which would be £120. They then add this on top of the cost to get their selling price of £320. From this, we can see that the starting place for markup is the cost, and the cost represents 100%. The markup in this example is 60%, so the profit is 60%. And then the selling price is the cost plus the profit, and therefore represents 160%. These percentages are really important because we know in some questions it will instead require us to work backwards from the sales price to the cost of sales. And this is where those percentages become super important. Let's again look at our example. We know that the selling price is £320, but let's say we didn't know the cost and the question said that we had a markup of 60%. We now need a way of getting back to the cost, and this is where those percentages come into their own. We said that the selling price represents 160% and the cost represents 100%. What we need to do then is take our selling price of 320 and divide it by 160, which gives us 1%. We then multiply this by 100 to get 100%, i.e. our cost of £200. Let's now have a look at margin. So if markup, emphasis on up, i.e. on top of your cost, it, it's a somewhat loose connection, but I'm trying to shoehorn this in, then margin is marge in. So it's within your sales price. So whereas for markup, your cost was 100% and you add on top of this, for margin, your sales figure is your starting point and represents 100%. My next visual aid is this fairly wintry looking mouse. Now let's say the selling price for this mouse was 20 pounds and the business said that the profit margin on all goods that they sell had to be 40%. That would mean that within the selling price of 20 pounds, 40% needs to relate to profit with the remaining 60% relating to cost. Meaning that we'd have the following, a selling price of 20 pounds, profit of eight pounds and a cost of 12 pounds. And again, just thinking about exam questions and what if you were given the cost and had to work back to the selling price? Well, if it stated that the margin was 40%, like in this example, and instead of the selling price, it gave you the cost of sales, i.e. 12 pounds, we know that because we're working on a margin basis, that if the profit margin is 40%, the cost would represent 60%, and the selling price 100%. So to get to the sales price, we take the cost of 12 pounds and divide this by 60 to get 1%, then multiply this by 100 to get 100%, which would be the selling price. 12 divided by 60 equals 0.2, times 100 equals 20 pounds, which is our selling price. And that wraps up this video on markup and margin. I do hope that this has helped you better understand this topic and if it has, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.